hear me. I don't know. It's noise down here. We're going to go get the replacement generator. Uh, like with my solar panels, we had to have it delivered a mile away at a neighbor's house. We went on the side of side and got, it, got our trailer and we're going to go over here and pick this butter up take it home before somebody else decides to hike their leg on it. So, anyway, Lacey's going to film this for us. Track. How about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> OSHA would love this. So we picked it up, stood it up on this end, well, sort of, held it at an angle, had Lacey jump in the side by side. I'm holding it up. I stick my foot up under the tailgate and have her back up under it. So here's where we're at. I'm going to see if I can slide this heavy thing. Okay, got the generator picked up from the neighbor's house. Thank you, Randall and Brunel, for once again letting us uh, borrow your driveway. And uh, uh, thanks, Diana, for going up there and uh, overseeing this while I was at work today. Thank you very much, Lacey. Thank you very, very, very much uh, for helping me muscle this thing up on the trailer. Um, now that I'm 57, fixed to be 58, things that used to not be heavy are like, oh my gosh, heavy. So anyway, all you young guys that may be watching this, take care of your body. You're going to need it when you get to be an old fart like me. Uh, but we got it uh, put on the patio of the uh, shop. And uh, it's going to sit there until I get it unboxed and uh, get a pad poured for it and uh, uh, get it plumbed in. I'm, I'm still working on the gas line stuff. Um, you can't imagine the amount of fittings and connections and stuff that you have to take into account for just to run something like this. There's, 
I mean, reducers and shutoff valves and uh, regulators and, you know, step down um, elbows and uh, unions and, uh, you know, several, a couple of different pipe. We're using uh, poly pipe for the, for the main um, run. And then I'm using black pipe to uh, uh, elbow up out of the ground uh, to uh, my, on my four legs that I've got going on, uh, one to the RV, one to the well house, one here at the shop and one for this generator that, uh, we just, just got, um, uh, I'm pretty sure Diana had posted the uh, last video where our last generator blew up. I'm glad I bought the warranty cause they warranted it. Um, and, uh, So we have a credit out there on Amazon for it. Uh, I didn't go through Amazon to buy this one. I went through Factory Pure, no sponsor. It just, they just had a, a scratch and dent, a scratch and dent sale uh, direct from Generac, and I took advantage of it, and it saved us a lot of money. I don't care if it's scratched, and I don't care if it's dinged up, as long as it works, and it has the full factory warranty. And the time frame I bought it, I got another, it comes with a five-year warranty, and I got another two-year warranty on top of that for free. So I've got seven-year warranty on this booger, and uh, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, our last generator, poor thing, we ran it nonstop, 24 hours a day. Um, I was changing oil in it about every four days. That's that's a lot of hours on that thing. I, I can't, you know, it's like 96 hours in four days. And we ran it for six months running the shop, running the RV, running the well. And we put some major load on it, and it was a high demand, and it just, we wore it out. It gave up. It says, I'm out of here. Pow. Smelled like a blowed up race car motor. Anyway, we got our new generator. Um, I want to thank my neighbor Drew for letting me borrow his generator to uh, run the well and run the RV when the cloudy days showed up in our solar system. Just there wasn't enough there to charge the batteries. A uh, special shout out to him for loaning us his generator and <laughs> abusing it, I guess. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I keep kept maintenance, keeping maintenance on that as well, and changing oil regular. And uh, last thing I want to do is is have to buy, uh, you know, a generator um, that was borrowed. You know, uh, well, luckily. Um, this one come in and and uh, I'll service uh, Drews and and give it back to him and along with his little uh, two thousand watt generator that he had loaned us uh, back in the uh, early spring. So um, yeah, we had we had two little generators going. We had a twenty five hundred watt win, no sponsor. Drew has a had a two thousand watt win, no sponsor. Um, and his generator was just sitting around and, uh, it, the carburetor was gummed up and everything. He said, here, use this thing so that, you know, it, it don't get gummed up again. So, um, that helped me out a lot, uh, cause I could keep one full of fuel and when the other one run out, get up and, and crank the other and, and, uh, plug the RV back into it. Uh, at that time, we went and ran the air conditioner, and it ran everything we needed to run uh, here in the shop and in the RV. And so I just switched back and forth between his and, and mine. And uh, then when the summer come and we had a bigger demand, I had to take both those generators off, and uh, we put the big one on and just, yeah, run the daylights out of it. So, all right, this is getting long. Um we got our mission accomplished uh, for this evening. Um, I'm going to sign off going here so I can get me a shower and uh, find some groceries and uh, get ready to go out there and uh, 
uh, do it again tomorrow. Love my job. It's great. Real great. No stress. All right, guys. Bye.